Hello everybody, it's Kadzo with Kadzo for Africa and welcome to my channel. Well, the long awaited video has arrived. What tribe are you if you are a black American female? If you're interested in this information, stay tuned. The first tribe that most African American women are from is undoubtedly what we call the Yoruba tribe. The Yoruba tribe is actually a prevalent tribe in West Africa, which is where a lot of the slaves were actually taken. And Yorubas are known for one thing. They are absolutely smart. They are the smartest people around. In fact, to this day, if you happen to be a Yoruba or you have Yoruba blood, you happen to be really, really intelligent. The Yorubas are pr primarily known to be one of the groupings of people that gets mostly admitted to universities. They're very good within education and really good in school. And so that's the first tribe. The second tribe that most African-American women belong to is what we call the Igbo tribe. The Igbo tribe are known for their uh, fascination with business. So these are entrepreneurial women. They are women who, if given whatever it takes to start a business, they're going to do really, really well. Do you know anybody in your family who has a nerd for business who seems to have this untouchable gift where they can touch something and make it happen and make it their own? They also don't really like to be bossed by other people. So they like to kind of be their own independent type of um, woman. And so that's the Igbo The third tribe, tribe of African-American women ancestry is who we call the Hausa. The Hausa are beautiful women. They carry themselves with the great race and a nurture. They are soft-spoken. They are people that you always want to be around. In fact, what's really big with the Hausa is actually the ability to be just great energy. Do you know any woman in your life who just exudes great energy? Well, she must be Hausa. The fourth tribe that I'll talk about, African women ancestry, is what we call the Edo tribe. Now, they are really, 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 really civilized. We're talking about etiquette. We're talking about grace. We're talking about class. We're talking about their house has to be the best that it can be. I mean, I've always wanted to belong to that tribe myself. I have to learn those things. But that tribe, I would say, really exudes itself with civility. The fifth tribe I'll talk about is the Urhobo tribe. The Urhobo tribe is filled with strong women. They actually remind me of the Black Panther ladies that we saw in the movie because of their fortitude and their determination and their strength. These are women who will actually stick with you and be able to stay around regardless of anything. And so their strength is what makes this tribe of women so The great. last and sixth tribe I'll talk about is the Itsekiri tribe of West Africa. Not a lot of slaves were actually taken from the Itsekiri, but because they happened to be a small minority tribe, a lot of them were actually taken in the Atlantic trade and brought over to the Americas, in particular the women. The Itsekiri tribe are not as well known, but what's great about them is their love for culture, their passion, and the way that they carry themselves, the way that they wear their hair, the way that they connect with the ancestry. The Itsekiri tribe is actually one of the tribes that I aspire to the most as an African woman from East Africa because they're really connected to their roots. Even today, if you happen to travel to West Africa and go to see the Itsekiri tribe, you'll be able to see them really talk about the ancestry. They're connected to their Africanness. And so that's the Itsekiri tribe. And so folks, I hope that you've enjoyed this video today. I know a lot of you have really been fascinated with all the videos I've done on Black Black ancestry. And if you are a black woman, especially with historical roots based in slavery, or if you identify as an African-American woman who wants to understand her roots, I hope that now you have something to start from. So go take a look at these tribes um, and also let me know if you can uh, comment in the comment section below. If you happen to be watching this and you happen to know a sister or a friend, share with me what you think that tribe might be. And thank you for watching, guys. And remember, life is full of opportunities and education is the key to your success. Until my next video, everybody. Bye.